the people of Alua. Today I want to speak to you in English, but I want to ask my brother Dan to translate everything that I say. Like our Secretary General has told you that they blocked us from the town field. They did not know that you would even come many people here in Ondu Paraka. Thank you for coming. I want to Thank you, thank you very much. I also want to welcome my brother Nubian back home because Nubian is a son of Aroa. So comrade Nubian Lee, Karibu Minio. this massive welcome here and very importantly I want to thank you for the beautiful name that you gave me Obini even some people in Uganda they no longer call me Chagulanyi they call me Obini I want to thank the team that we have here, our team in Westman, led by our comrade Asega Abib. Thank you before all these people. Because for a long time, so many people, including myself, did not know what kind of noble leader you are. Because Please know we appreciate your work and we love you very much. Now to the people of Arua. This is where it starts. God had a different plan. The bullet that was supposed to get me it caught my driver and brother Yasin Kauma. And it killed him on the spot. So when I survived that bullet, that is when I decided that there is no turning back. That is when I decided that there's no turning back. I will not and I will never stop until Museveni falls. So today I have come back to Arua two and a half years after the 2021 election. The election which Museveni stole using guns and using the Abakama and his electrical. He has since tried to silence us. He has abducted our people. Many people have been abducted and arrested all over Uganda, including here in Arua. As we speak now, many of them are still in prison, including a young girl called Olivia Rutaya. And many of them have never been seen again. But this has not silenced our desire. And what you have done today, what you've done today, it has sent a very clear message to Museveni. On our way, all the way from Karuma, through Pakwach, 
You have made a statement that West Nile is ready for change and ready for change now. What you have done today is similar to what was done in Ankole. It is similar to what you saw in Toro. It is similar to what you saw in Kasese. And yes, it is similar to what you saw in Kabale. What you have done today is similar to what was done by the people of Busoga. What was done today is similar by, like, like, as what was done by the people of Bugishu and the people of Lango. What, what you have done today is similar to what was done by the people of Uganda. Yesterday we were in Bunyoro and the people of Bunyoro did the same thing that you have done. They sent a very clear message that they want change and they want change now. So today I'm, I'm happy to inform you that I am very confident that the, all the people of Uganda have united with one voice saying Museveni must come. In Arua. From, from what I've seen in Arua, every time I have come here, you have shown me one thing. You have shown me that if, say, if, if the capital city of Uganda was in Arua, and if State House was in West Nile, so President Arua would have gone long time ago.